What you are about to hear is very graphic. This video contains details directly from the autopsy reports. So please view this video at your own risk. This is the body of a 5 foot 8 inch 149 pounds embalmed adult white male who appears to report a age of 53. The scalp is free of visible trauma and has brown gray curly hair with a prominent male pattern of alopecia. The eyes have brown irides with equal sized pupils. The conjunctivae are gray white and free of pedicae. The mouth has native dentition in good repair. The oral mucosa is smooth, tan and moist. The mandible and the maxilla are prepared for embalming. The face is free of visible injury or scar. Facial hair consists of a gray blonde full beard. The external auditory canals are normal. The neck is free of visible scar or injury. The right side of the neck has a needle puncture marks over the right internal jugular vein. The right anterior cervical triangle has a sutured 7.9 cm embalming incision. The chest is symmetric and free of visible scars or tattoos. The abdomen is mesomorphic and has a 30 cm midline vertical laparotomy incision closed with 27 metal staples. The left upper quadrant of the abdomen has a patent jejunostomy. The external genitalia are edematous. The penis is not circumcised. The upper extremities are free of visible scar or deformity. Around the right wrist is a orange and white plastic identification band bearing the following information. Penicillin, strawberries. Additionally around the right wrist is a blue and white blank identification band. A third identification band is around the right wrist bearing the following information. Dugil, Ted 6649-101-9041. The left arm and hand are free of visible injury of deformity. The lower extremities are free of visible injury or deformity. Around the left ankle is a white paper identification page bearing the following information. More skip date of birth December 22, 1949 Date of death January 11, 2003 Place of death Miami Beach, Florida